Hello everybody, I hope you're all going to have a lovely day today. Uh, we've got some cracking meat for you again this week, some cracking deals. We've got, we're going to start with a steak, then I'm going to tell you the story. And then we're going to go down Killshaw Avenue. We're going to try and fix you up with some barbecue gear and somewhere in the middle. So as ever, we'll start with the steak section. We've got 10 ounce sirloin, 10 ounce ribeye, all British or Irish, top quality steaks at four for 15 pounds. I've got some 16 ounce sirloin or ribeye, your sirloin being 5.99, your ribeye being 6.50, both British or Irish quality. Then, as a little treat, with it being Easter, I've got some legs of lamb on at right money as well, but we've got some lamb steaks. You're getting five center cut lamb steaks, plain in the Spanish glaze or minted at five lamb steaks for 15 pounds which is a cracking deal in itself. You're not price of lamb these days. So, steak section done. The weeping tigers are in there as always. We've had a hell of a day today and I just didn't get time to do them. I'm absolutely shattered, I'll be honest with you. But anyway, let's crack on as normal. So, bit of a deal for you, your Easter special. New Zealand lamb legs, 20 quid each. That one's weighing, that's 2.4, we're gonna say we're going to say two kilo, just to keep them happy. Now, you might have seen last week, I got a bit of grief off a farmer who uh, had a little bit of a dig at me because this lamb's not English. Well, let me tell you, I support British farming as far as I can. But I'm not a farmer, I'm a butcher. And somebody who buys and sells meat in the market that suits his customers best. I never ever once come on here and said every single bit of meat I sell is British. And what you've got to understand is, you know, if there was no imported meat whatsoever, the price of British meat would just go through the roof. Who benefits from that most? Truthfully, probably the farmer, innit? So it's a biased opinion when somebody wants to attack me. But this is how fair I am because I do like British farming and I do support it where I can. And I do like going to markets. So the man in question, and you know who you are, I'm not going to mention your name because I think he's unprofessional, but you're local, you're in York. This is the man I am. You want to have a chip at me, don't you, on a Sunday? Fair enough, we can go one or two ways. We can fall out and make friends. Put your product where your mouth is. You want to sell me a few lambs at a fair price for you and for me? Let's do it. Let's have a go. There's no reason for falling out. So. Put your, put your lamb where your mouth is, get us some decent lambs at a fair price so you earn some money and I can earn some money out of them and I'll make a right good job of them on here and we'll show you how we can support you and your fam. And I'd like that to be the end of the matter. I solve things like gentlemen. I don't sit on my phone on Sunday morning chipping that people are trying to get a living and I wish you all the very, very best with yours. So we'll crack on with the sale as always. Now I've got that off my chest and as I say, I'm not, after a, I'm not after a fight, we'll do a deal. Let's see if we can make friends. Right, salmon cuts, 1.5 kilo, 15 pound. Half loins of pork, a straight tenner. Easter, we're in a lamb special. So we've got some racks of lamb, minted, plain, rosemary and mint. And this is how we're gonna treat you, not cheat you on these. You're getting three racks of lamb, a lot of three racks of lamb for a tenner. Three racks of lamb for a tenner. Uh, a lot of restaurants buying them, getting great feedback on them. Have a go on them. Lamb noisettes, plain lamb rosemary, mint. That's the sirloin of lamb rolled over. Beautiful little product. I, I tell you what I've been doing with them. I've been searing them and pan and then putting them in the air fryer. The air fryer is the thing, isn't it? It's bringing meat great again. That really is helping the butchers. So they're a great product. They're a straight tenner. I've got some John Worsley, English, <laughs> Barnsley chops, uh, uh, four for 15 pound. Lovely bit of eyepiece and fill it on them if you like Barnsley chops. Lamb shanks, we're on a special offer with lamb shanks. They're a fiver each or three for a tenner if you want to have a go on the lamb shank job. Uh, and they're plain or minted. Uh, I've done some lovely stuffed belly joints. Beautiful, we're gonna start calling them Miller Lights. Beautiful, beautiful stuffed belly joints and they're on special offer this week. 
at £7.50. All right, Scotty boy. Take care. Uh, and then we've got some half legs of pork at £19.99. Uh, all boned out. I've left a little shank in this one, in the shank side, but most of it's boned out, so it's easy for carving. And I've got a cracking carvery deal. Port loin, half leg of lamb, joint of beef, all three joints, £25 if you want a bit of a carvery deal. The carvery deal normally goes well. Now, I'm going to step back to get you through Killshaw Avenue. Then we're going to move into a bit of barbecue and, uh, and other stuff. Now, you might wonder if you don't know, but we have a great customer who's called Gav Killshaw. Notoriously buys the best. Put some great posts out. We have some lovely customers. We appreciate what you do. And we love the guys who put some brilliant pictures on. So, we named this section's all about a bit of quality, some of the techs a bit of cooking, some of that's British farm, some of that's local, some of that's a bit special. So, this week I've done you some 2.5 kilo limousine sirloin roasts, beautiful meat, just a tiny smidgen of fat on top, but they'll taste beautiful. Absolutely, I'm taking one of these for my Sunday roast. So we're going to charge you $25.99 on the, on the 2.5 kilo sirloin roast, which is a hell of a price too. But it's not about making money on Killshaw Avenue, it's about making friends. And that's, it's, all, it's all in Boston. I've got some uh, English lamb rumps at £6.50 a piece. These are great for sear and then maybe air fry or flash roast. Do them as an individual on the plate. Restaurants charge a lot of money for them and it's all about bringing the restaurant home. So have a little go on them, I think they're beautiful. I've done some port loin mega roasts. This has got a nice apple and winter stuffing in it. And it's got the, the honey, 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 honey mustard glaze, as Dave's gone out of that camera. Don't edit it out, be right. Uh, honey mustard glaze on top, just a bit of something different. And what I'd try with this, but I'm not gonna add it for you, I don't want adding salt to your dishes, but if you crust that in Himalayan salt and then cook it, you'll get the most unbelievable crackling. I'm partial to a bit of crackling, as you can see, but I'm telling you, give that a go. And I've also done the same thing here with the same apple and winter spice, but I've put the sage and apple glaze on it. Again, crust it in, in Himalayan salt and watch that fly. And these are from Yorkshire Pigs, Bought from John Penny. And we couldn't possibly be buying any foreign pigs, could we? But there we go. That's, uh, that's for that. And then we've got some butterflied whole legs of lamb. I've done one minted and I've done one infused with garlic and herbs. You can have the plain too. And the 25 pound, these are great. Believe it or not, they're great roasted. They're great barbecued. Um, and you just slice them up and portion them all up and I think you'll find they're absolutely out of this world. We did them last summer and they went really well and summer's just around the corner. I think barbecue time's on its way. So have a go, see what you think. And then I've done the oyster cut pork joint, which is a lovely sweet piece of meat, a little bit of crackling on edge in the honey mustard glaze or, or plain, whichever you like at $8.99. And then I've got some belly pork joints, just flat to roast at 7.52. We've got meaty Chinese style pork spare ribs. Try saying that when you're drunk at 1.5 kilo for a tenner. We've done some spare rib chops out of the pork shoulder. I've done some in a Cajun glaze, some plain for you to add your own rubs and marinades. They're a really sweet, versatile, succulent piece of pork. If you've never had the spare rib chop, give it a try. It's out of the shoulder, it's like a shoulder chop. Really, really nice, uh, and you're getting six pieces for a tenner, which is quite a substantial amount of weight. But really, really nice. Now I've done some of these for the ultimate pulled pork. If you like doing a pulled pork joint, that is a half pork shoulder for 15 pound. You're going to get your skin, you're going to get your bone, you're going to get your fat, and more than all, you're going to get lashings and lashings of beautiful pork meat. So. That's how we can go with them and the 15 quid. But like I tell you, there's some weight in that bugger. You'll get all the king's horses and all the king's men will all have pulled pork sandwiches. That's 3.2. So get stuck into them 
I've done braising and stew, three pound in weight for a tenner. I've done tomahawk pork chops, plain or in the uh, sage and apple glaze. Again, getting really good reviews when you're putting the uh, Himalayan salt on top. Belly pork, 1.5 kilo a tenner. Pork loin steaks, six for a fiver. Pork ribeyes. These take off well, and I think we'll sell more and more of them as summer goes on. In the Thai style, uh, garlic and herb, and plain, six for ten. Back again, you can get a lot for a cockle at Venice, so see what you think on them. Chinese, uh, not Chinese, KFC style, southern fried nuggets. Nice and healthy for the kids. $5.99 a portion, four chicken fillets, $5.99. Gyros and Donner kebabs as standard. If you haven't had our kebabs, then you haven't lived. Uh, we got some big ham shanks. Everybody likes an ham shank. $3.99 a piece. Get stuck on them. I seen somebody do one of them the other day and they pulled it all off and made like a beautiful ham salad. Made a fortune on them. You know, should I say, they haven't spent a fortune. Got a lot out of it though. Got a lot of meat on them. $3.99 a piece. Uh, we'll do you a treat on them. We'll do you two for six quid if you want to have a go. Uh, dry cured. Middle bacon, a lot of southerners like them, they don't mind paying for a bit of good bacon. With rind on, uh, 1950 a pack, granted, it's not cheap, but pretty good stuff. Uh, three for ten on your sausage, pork loins are back down a little bit at 20, chicken fillets up a little bit at 28.50. So, that is that. I hope we haven't offended anybody. I like to think we're straight and honest and do his job right and you know we do get the odd moaner but that's the nature of the beast and we try and sort them out best we can unless they're being unreasonable and if they're unreasonable they get see you later so without further ado have a lovely easter have a lovely time with your families i'm gonna try and enjoy mine i'll be in long bar this afternoon if you're at Edinley with jamie jones enjoying the rugby and having a bit of crack uh and apart from that I think that's it. Happy Easter, everybody, and I'll see you when we get back, uh, and we'll all have a, another sale for you. We'll have some more meat. So get cracked in, enjoy Killshaw Avenue, and get on with the, the, the meat sale that's taking over the nation. Pick and choose as you like. Take care. Bye.